Hello, welcome to Cami Designs, and today we're going to continue to work on this Dollar Tree yarn headband. And these are Dollar Tree hooks, or not hooks, excuse me, these are Dollar Tree needles, knitting needles. And they are 5 millimeter. and this is Premier Just Yarn. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. I got pink here, and today I'm going to add a second color. So I will show you how to add in additional colors. And I'm going to add yellow. I didn't know what color to add, and I asked my husband, and he said yellow. So that's what I'm going with. Okay. And so I ended on the knit side. And so this is a stock knit. So I'm knitting one side and then purling the other. So all the purls are on the back, and all the knits are on the front. And so I'm going to just knit in my yellow <clears throat> excuse me and so I'm going to start like I would knit my pink and since I'm going to go back to pink after a couple rows I'm going to leave my pink connected I'm not going to cut it if I were not going to go back to pink I would cut a long tail so it could be weaved in so starting with this yellow I'm going to leave a long tail so I can weave it in later but I'm just going to hold it with my pink, kind of just hold it tight. And I'm just going to knit like I would with the pink. Pretty simple. And I just want to, I just want to do maybe an inch or two, kind of give it a stripe look. And I'll go back to the pink and then I'll go back to the yellow. Or if you want to use, do a, a, like a rainbow one, you could do an inch stripe of each color. And like I said in past videos, Dollar Tree has a lot of colors available. I probably have a dozen different colors from Dollar Tree, and they're always coming out with new colors. And it is Premier Just Yarns. You can also go to their website and see what colors they have. Or order some. Or find where you can, you know, where they have it in your location. And just like that, I'm to the end. And I've knitted one row of yellow. And this is going to want to be loose, so I just kind of try to hold it tight or I'll even just tie a little loose knot in it here I don't want to keep that knot because I want to weave it in so it's nice and flat and smooth but now I'm going to turn my work here and flip it and I want to do the purl side and so I'm just going to purl it like I would if I was still working with the pink so the yarn on the front coming off the front and I want to just purl I slide my yarn down here to the end so it makes it a little easier to work with and you might be able to tell I'm a little more comfortable doing knit once I get into the hang of doing purl, I can go kind of fast at it, but it's not too bad. And I do also have to remind myself to go slow. My husband says I go too fast, and I tend to work off camera. I want to pull it close to me. So I apologize if I do that. You know, feel free to leave comments below. Um... If you have any questions or comments or you want to see a different color done maybe this is hard to see you know feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer or change or do what needs to be done okay I'm almost done with this pearl side here 
Okay, last one. And see, it kind of loosened up a little bit, so I just want to kind of pull it tight. And then I want to flip my work back over so I'm back to the knit side. Ooh, made some noise there. The one thing about these Dollar Tree knitting needles are they are very, they're quite long. Um, these measure out at th about 13 inches. So they are quite long knitting needles. And if you're used to working with shorter needles, um, like I am, it can be, it can take some getting used to, but if you're just a beginner starting out, getting used to long needles is not a bad thing. You can always go to shorter needles later. And with these long needles, I tend to kind of just lean them against my arm like this to kind of hold them in place so they're all not wild willy-nilly. And here we go. Almost done with this third row of the yellow. And with this pattern, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can... You don't have to have even amount of rows unless you want to if you're a perfectionist and you can sh surely go ahead and count all your rows so i'm just knitting each one here and i think my husband did a good job i think i really like this yellow with the pink you can share your thoughts with me by commenting below. And I'm just going to end this here. Make it a kind of a short, quick video. Um, and that's it. That is joining the color. Now this is just doing colors and stripes. There, There is a difference when doing color work. When you're doing like stranded yarn below so you know you might have to do a couple stitches of this color a couple stitches of that color so there is a, a difference and i will show that in a future video but with this i just want to put a couple little stripes in it just to make it a little fun and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my videos you can once you subscribe you can kick, click the little bell icon and um, not miss any of my videos. And I try to put at least a couple videos out a week. Um, one of knit at least and one of crochet. And so please like and follow. And once I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll start giving away some of my free pat some of my patterns for free. And that's it. So have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.